All right, welcome to Surviving Greg Tech 6 Take 2. This is going to be a similar series as the first Surviving Greg Tech, except this is using the server pack instead of my GT6 only pack. So we're going to have more mods to mess with other than GT6, but it will still be GT6 focused. And we'll go through all the Greg Tech things. So, we have our first thing is we need to pick up sticks and rocks. That way we can find some flint and we can get some tools made. We can make some tools out of the rocks as well. They're going to be pretty crappy tools compared to the flint ones, but we can do it. All right, that one has a Certus Quartz rock. So that means directly below us is Certus Quartz. Head and mark that. Just in case we need it. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, picking up sticks is your main way of prospecting in GT6. So I will be doing a whole lot of picking up rocks. I will not be doing most of it on camera, though. And... A new change is now you have different kinds of sticks. They all work the same, but you'll have mossy ones. You'll have uh, dead ones, I think, regular ones, birch ones, oak ones. You name it, you'll have them. Like if I come down here, I should get uh, dark oak. I think I've actually never seen a dark oak one, but I do know that there's, yeah, there we go, dark oak stick. Let's see, I knew there were birch ones and uh, regular oak ones because I've seen them before, but I hadn't seen a dark oak one yet. So that's the main thing we're going to be doing is just picking up sticks and picking up rocks looking to see what we get usually i tend to throw all of my rocks up here and leave like three or four different spots down here that i can uh, have new rocks pop into that way if i get an ore one i know and for anybody that didn't already know the Rock spawn uh, phosphor, yeah, phosphorite. That is a good rock to find early on. So let's go ahead and mark that. Uh, we're gonna mark it as appetite. That should be in the same vein. Basically, that will give us, I do believe we can use this for, yeah, flint and tinder. It's a really crappy flint and tinder. It only has durability of one. Not quite sure why Greg made it so crappy, but it will work if we need it for a flint and tinder. Where well, we can... Uh, use it for a burning box, if I remember correctly. That it only has one use, but we can use it to make our furnace instead of using a um, uh, fire starter. Damn. All right, so now that we got a flint knife, we're gonna grab a whole lot of grass. 
We want grass so we can make dried grass, which unfortunately NEI doesn't tell you. It would be nice if Greg could figure out how to add a NEI page for some of the in-world things that tells you. I don't know if you can... How, I think you can do it one seven ten, but basically, if you look at grass here, it'll show you that you can turn it into a bale, and it does say it would dry in place here at the moment, so you'd have to look for that. But it'd be nice if there was a page that just said, "Hey, you know." And dry this because otherwise you can use it for fuel you can use it a dryer to dry it but you can't do that early on so but we're gonna use it to we're gonna make it into bales and we're gonna dry it and that way we can use it the dry grass to make torches and we can use it for making fire starters get a whole lot of it here all right now let's get these regular rocks and we use this rotten wood here and we'll make an axe come over here and grab us some wood that way we have a way of making a crafting table so we can make those bales if anybody doesn't know greg tech axes uh have a timber function so they will cut any block that is directly above them that is you know wood so like with these dark oak it's only going to do one column it's not going to do the whole tree there you go so i still have to do these separate but it will do the whole thing and it also works off of the durability loss per block that it cuts and I do believe Greg said that the with the way it works, it actually takes more durability the more blocks it has to break. So cutting down great big huge trees is actually worse than cutting down uh, individual ones block by block. I've never gone through and really cared to check the durability on that if anybody knows differently go ahead and leave a comment and that goes for anything that I uh, do in here if anybody has any extra information or uh, questions as well uh, feel free to leave a comment down on the bottom because I will never say I know everything about Great Tech 6. I know a lot about it but I don't know everything and I can easily make mistakes from time to time or leave out information or I might just not know it so be nice to uh help other people along and get as much information out there as possible all right so next is these berry bushes these are gt6 berry bushes they are really nice for beginning food if they are grown that one there is not grown yet 
and I usually pick them up and take them with me. That way I can put them outside, especially if you got PAMs, because you can use the uh, knife here for a cutting board, and you can make fruit salad, which is a very excellent beginning food. Crazy, you got it. All of us in the group using it all the time. It is getting dark, so I am going to look for a cave to get into for the night. There we go. Let's see. It's going to be a little dark for just a moment here. And hey, look, we've got. Cassiterite. Alright, it doesn't look like it ends, which I was hoping it would. But that's fine. We're going to take these hay bales and block up the doorway most of the way. Come down here. And we're just going to put all these hay bales out, grass bales out, let them sit here and dry, and what happens in the morning. So, first day, collect rocks, collect sticks, find food. If you're playing in my pack, you'll have 16 apples. That way you can uh, wander away from spawn. Which, by the way, in case anybody doesn't already know, there's spawn protection. I don't really have to hide. There's nothing going to spawn. I think it's 128 blocks from spawn. So... Since there's so much that really needs to be done on the first day, you really don't have to hide. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyways, because we're going to end the video here. And we'll be back tomorrow. Or the next day. I haven't decided the schedule for this yet. But, uh, yeah. Collect rocks. Collect sticks. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of rock collecting and see what kind of things I can find and I'll be back with you guys in the next one so hit the buttons do the things welcome back and I'll see you guys next time